in the village. What do you want? Information. Whose side are you on? That would be telling. We want information. Information. You won't get it. By hook or by crook, we will. Who are you? The new number two. Who is number one? <laughs> you are number six. I am not a number. I am a free man. <laughs> Should you be doing this in the hospital? I know what I'm doing. What about number two? Has it been agreed? I'll take the responsibility. If we wait for orders, we'll never get results. I hope you do know what you're doing. They always do that. Don't worry. He'll be all right in a moment. You know the instructions about number six. If any damage is done, Jimmy shall be in... Before that happens. Ah, it's going to work. I knew it would. It's a bore, old man. The committee. They want to break down on all we know. You, me, Arthur, the Colonel, everybody. Suspected security leak, apparently. All the files you've seen, the projects you know about, just headings, not details. This phone is scrambled and I've got a recorder. Might as well tell me now. You... You must not... Ask me that. I'm not. It's the committee that's asking. I'm not. It's the committee that's asking. Who's that? Who? Who is that? Who is that? It's Dutton. Hello, hello. Are you there? It's Dutton. Hello, hello, are you there? You must stop. You'll damage the brain, then we'll all be... Stop! Get that man back to the hospital. Number six was about to talk. Don't you believe it? He'd have died first. You can't force it out of this man. He's not like the others. I would have made him talk. Every man has his breaking point. I don't want him broken. He must be won over. It may seem a long process to your practical mind, but this man has a future with us. There are other ways. Good morning, it's another lovely day. So rise and shine, life for living. Sound as a bell. Have a nice day. Feel free. Yes. <laughs> Splendid. Oh, you'll be no trouble. Just a matter of time. Tomorrow night, we're preparing for it now. <laughs> yes, I wish you could come too.
Good morning. Don't tell me that time travel is in it as well. A woman is always impatient to wear a new dress. How do I look? Different from the others. The maids come and they go. We'll get along. I'm sure you get along with everybody. I've got a good mind to report you. I'm new here. Special delivery. Sign your number here, number six. little traditions. Each year there's a fancy dress and a ball in the evening. We're promised a cabaret this year. You'll come. I have a choice. You do as you want. As long as it's what you want. As long as it is what the majority wants. We're democratic. In some ways. Is worth playing if you can't win. That's not very. You're too independent. Now they're pretty and unattached. But her. Quite unsuitable. I'm independent. Don't forget. Don't go. I must. There's a reason. Reason? Number two wants you to go. Or does she? Am I playing her game or yours? Not mine. Don't mind me. Go if you like. How long have you been here? Questions are a burden to others. Answers are prison for oneself. What did you do to have yourself brought here? Questions are a burden. And answers a prison for oneself. I must go. Try to go in. By mistake? It's fussy about who it lets in. This is the town hall. He tried to follow you. It's hardly my fault. Funny, though, you're being his observer. Remember, keep a sharp watch. Where did you find it? It found me. You are not allowed animals. It's a rule. Rules to which I am not subject. Now take it with me. You might get scratched. 
Where does it come from? How does it get here? The milk, the ice cream, the potatoes and the aspirins. At night, when everyone's asleep, I've never seen a night. I just sleep. Supposing I don't want any flowers. Everybody has flowers for carnival tomorrow. Be seeing you. Drink it while it's hot. What is it? It's good for you. Good for someone. And be seeing you. And you. You're late. There's a lot to do. Are you going in? To make my report. Does it concern me in number six? No. We'll overlook that and put it down to enthusiasm. Oh, thank you. Oh, uh, could you get me a directive about Dutton? He's being rather difficult. It'll test our efficiency. He'll eventually go back to his room. It's the only place he can ever go.
proclamation. All citizens take notice that carnival is decreed for tonight. Turn back the clock. There will be music, dancing, happiness, all at the carnival by order. <laughs> last night. I thought I'd save you the trouble of making up the bed. Where's the fancy costume? They've given me a new dress. Something special tonight. And the cat? Gone. I didn't make it. Everyone's uh, uh, having a good time outside. You wait until tonight. Do you mean we're allowed out after hours? Anyone would think you were locked in the way you talk. Oh, your costume came. Yes. Or don't I get a choice? Other people choose. It's a game. I expected something exotic. What is it? My own suit. Specially delivered for the occasion. What does that mean? That I'm still myself. Lucky you. What are we to do with him? There you go again. You mustn't be so eager, Doctor. Your techniques are efficient, but not always beneficial. Number six will yet be of great value. He can't do as he likes. He's an individual, and they're always trying. Don't worry. His observer will ring me the moment he puts a bomb in your lovely hospital. Incidentally, how's progress with Dutton? Well, he's given me quite a lot of information, but he's reluctant to go any further. I'm afraid I'll have to be more extreme. Of course, I'll win in the end. I always do. Rather a small fish, you know. Still, it'll give you an opportunity to experiment. After all, he is expendable. from here. I'm sad, number six. I thought you were beginning to... Give in. Be happy. Everything you want is here. Everything's elsewhere. 
Don't force me to take steps. We indulge any member of our community for a time after that. Yes, I know. I've been to the hospital. I've seen. You've seen only a fraction. I know where you stand, don't I? She's one of our best observers. We have one each. Only our more fractious children. Shall we go down? Suit yourself. You're not thinking of jumping? Never. Good. I have my duty. To whom? To everyone. It's the rules. Of the people, by the people, for the people. Takes on a new meaning. You're a wicked man. Wicked? You have no values. Different values. You won't be helped. Destroyed. You want to spoil things. I won't be a goldfish in a bowl. I must go. I may see you later. Can you avoid it? I hope it's all right. The radio. What would you do? Report on it, ask for instructions. Number one? Yes. Who? No! Tell me. It's all I know, all there is to know. In the place where you work? Don't keep asking me questions. Whoever may find this. Number two? I can't find number six. That's no way to report. I've tried everywhere. Don't worry, he'll turn up. It's only a matter of time. He's very undisciplined. Shall I watch number 34 instead? No, he's dead. Dead? When? It's none of our business. I got to know him quite well. He didn't know you, did he?
before. I'd never have believed it. Roland Walter Dutton. Who was he? His body was washed up on the shore. How long have you been here? You don't know. What I ask? It's difficult to say. A couple of months. And you? Quite recently. How's London? About the same. Yeah. Places don't change. Only people. they don't believe me. You know I didn't have access to the vital stuff. Yes. They'll take me back to the hospital. And by the time they realize I'm telling the truth, it'll be too late. When? They've released me for 72 hours so that I can reconsider in the peaceful atmosphere of the, of the village. No, my friend, not for me. Such noble thoughts along dead. Soon Roland Walter Dutton will cease to exist. You're waiting for someone, Mr. Tuxedo? Or expecting someone? Mr. Peter Pan? So it seems. With his shadow? You're being hostile again. What were you looking at? A light. A star. A boat. An insect. A plane. A flying fish. Somebody who belongs to my world. This is your world. I am your world. If you insist on living a dream, you may be taken for mad. I like my dream. Then you are mad. Now go on up to the town hall. May I? You may enter tonight. It's carnival. What? No dancing? Tonight's for dancing. Amongst other things. Music! Come along. You've been practicing long enough. And dance! Enjoy yourselves. It's carnival. I rarely drink. Then you'll enjoy it all the more. Self denial is a great sweetener of pleasure. It's warmer than we think. Undoctor to carnival. Your administration is effective, though you have no opposition. An irritation we've dispensed with. Even its best friends agree democracy is remarkably inefficient. It's 53. How impressive. From here on, of course, we degenerate to the 55 and the 57, and if people really misbehave themselves to a quite extraordinary 58. Why haven't I a costume? Perhaps because you don't exist. Quite enchanting. Little Bo Peep. Who always knows where to find her sheep. Oh, you must cheer him up, my dear. Dance. It's a special night. We hope so. Dance. A glass of wine, Doctor. Oh, drink is too levelling. How is it? Still rebellious, but it will pass. Without treatment? We don't want to spoil it. Unless we must. Uh, how many of these have you been to? This is my first and last. Don't be silly. Yes. Uh, who's saying that? You or the computer? Me. Let's not dance. Oh, don't behave like a human being. It might just um, confuse people. You Only know. you are confused. They're not for long. There are treatments for people like you. Uh, I've turned aside. 
she, uh, she must get instructions. Who did they come from? Is he here tonight? The man behind the big door? Well, there's no need to know. This place has been going for a long time. Since the war? Before the war? Which war? A long time. Have you seen her? Her? Number two. She's not at the party. I'll be seeing her. She must see this urgently. It's a termination order. Is it? Would you like me to give it to her? Point? Would you? I'd be most obliged. Not at all. Don't forget, it's urgent. Well, right away. your opportunities. You don't blame us for doing the same. Oh, she's taken to you. I'm jealous. Oh, she's mine. She works here too. She's very efficient. Almost ruthless. Never trust a woman. Even the four-legged variety. You can trust everyone. And will. In time. Let's go back. The cabaret is beginning. In his pocket. The wallet? Yes. It's still there. Amended slightly. We'll amend him slightly. It's you who's died in an accident at sea. A mayor. So to the outside world. Which you only dream about. I'll be dead. A small confirmation of a known fact. Don't blame me. It's a question of 
Waste not, want not. I thought there was a cabaret. There is. You are it. In the matter of the people versus this person, the court is now in session. What is my crime? We'll come to that. Perhaps I should explain our legal system is unusual. No jury. Three judges decide here. As in the French Revolution. They got through the dead wood, didn't they? Hmm. I'm appointed by the court to defend you. This lady to prosecute. The judges have been chosen. Proceed. You are charged with having on your person and using for unlawful purposes and against the interest of the community an object, the possession and use of which breaks our rules. Hooray, you set. Don't you ask how I plead. Proceed, prosecutor. From somewhere, he has not yet been subjected to interrogation. The accused acquired a radio. How do you know he had this radio? I am his observer. She's biased and shouldn't be here. I saw him with it in his room. And later on top of a bell tower. Did anyone else see it? The defender was with me on the bell tower. I saw him with it in his room. Thank you for your majesty. Proceed. He was listening to a program. What manner of program? I don't know. It's improper to listen. Quite right. Did you listen, madam? How can my defender be a prosecution witness? No, my lord, but it did work. It is the duty of all of us to care for each other and to see that the rules are obeyed. Without their discipline, we should exist in a state of anarchy. Hear, hear. You do yourself no good, prisoner. He had no radio of his own. There's no radio he could have borrowed. So in acquiring one, he made a positive effort against the community, indicating a malicious breaking of the rules. The court's duty is to pass the severest possible sentence. You wish to question the prosecutor? We shall hear the defender. I would beg the court to remember that beneath its panoply of splendor, beneath the awful majesty of the rules, be human hearts. This is a human being with weaknesses and failings of his kind. That he had a radio and has broken rule after rule cannot be denied. Has anyone ever seen these rules? I plead your lordships for clemency. He is new and guilty of folly no more. We can treat folly with kindness knowing that soon his wild spirit will quieten and the foolishness will fall away to reveal a model citizen. That day you will never see. The prisoner will be silent. This is a serious matter. Very serious. Both officers have presented their pleas with creditable simplicity. We will now consider... Do I think? I want to call a witness. Witness? This lady and I are the only witnesses there can be. He has his rights. What manner of witness? A character witness. I want the court to call Roland Walter Dutton. No names are used here. Mr. Man. I think I knew a man who is scheduled to die. A 
and therefore better fitted than I to say the things that need to be said. A character witness. The court will resume its deliberations. It is decided. We find the prisoner guilty of breach of the rules, which his folly and inexperience cannot excuse. We pass sentence in accordance with the rules. No! Stop it! It's the rules, my dear. The sentence is death. We sentence in the name of the people. The people carry it out in the name of justice. one-way mirror. They can't see you. They've never seen in here and they never will. They lack your initiative. Deal with them. Why are they trying to kill me? They don't know you're already dead. Locked up in the long box in that little room. She's no longer your observer. Observers of life should never get involved. You'll never win. Then how very uncomfortable for you, old chap. 